John Legend. John Lovett. <clears throat> Is he the coolest friend of the pod? Yeah. <laughs> we can't say for sure. But he's in the conversation. Uh, I'm a genuine fan. I listen to you guys all the time. I, it makes me nervous. <laughs> so we've decided to enlist your help. We've all borne witness over the past few years to political moments that are deeply sincere and spine-tinglingly cringy. Okay. Which is sincere why sincere and cringy. Yes. Probably Democrats. Mostly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Republicans insurrect. Democrats read poems. Yes. <laughs> Pen is mightier, we hope. We censor it. <laughs> so it's time for a game we call Nerd Level Zero. Okay. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. I'll read a moment. You will all rank that moment okay. on a scale of one to five Bono poems. <laughs> How will we know who wins? The winner is Nancy Pelosi, but, but <laughs> we're going to try to have fun. All right, here we go. Okay. First moment to rank on a scale of one to five Bono poems. Nancy Pelosi and the Dems kneeling in uh, Ken <laughs> uh, oh. Add some Ken <laughs> uh, I, I have to say, I have to plug our show, Sherman Showcase. We have an amazing song on the show uh, called Add Some Ken And I, and I believe we used uh, one of these photos in the show. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. It was for a very special Black History Month uh, edition that we did. Um, sincere and cringe. This is about Max. Yeah, You're gonna, this is about this is it. This maximum. is the standard. This is yeah. a five. We're, gonna, yeah, we're starting a five. with a five. Yeah, that's a five. Next, Nancy yeah. Pelosi reads a Bono poem about Ukraine. I got this message this morning from Bono. Ireland's sorrow and pain is now the Ukraine, and St. Patrick's name is now Zelensky. Oh. <laughs> about that. <laughs> How about that? Is that real? I think it's the smiling. That yes, <laughs> I've never seen this clip. I didn't know that was real. It's brutal. It's the. Um, it's the. Can you believe it? It's so good. <laughs> Look what I just did. <laughs> oh, that's a four, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Uh, the thing is, I feel like reading that poem would have gone over well in that moment, but it was the faces that made it cringier. <laughs> yeah, it was, tough. It was um, tough. So I'm only going to rank that like a two or a three. Two or oh. three? Okay. Yeah. okay, we're giving it a three. Next up, uh, Andrew Yang trying to shoot a basketball. Oh, oh. no. Oh, we'll oh, handle. Oh, we'll oh, handle. Oh, oh. Oh. Does this clip end? Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's that cringy. I don't think either. I no. don't think so either. And like one, he shoots better than me, so <laughs> it did get worse as it went on. Though <laughs> I will I say that. Trick question. He's not a Democrat. Yeah, not me. That is true. That's Third true. party. Oh, don't be playing the crowd. Him or who? He's a forward forward party. Is that what it was? We'll give it zero. You're gonna yeah. give me can you give me a clip of someone being bad at sports? He needed his <laughs> he needed his shot to be a little more forward though. Yes, yes. Totally hey. like that. Yeah. Next up, oof. Chuck Schumer trying to rap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I, didn't, I don't know. I don't know how we're just seeing this for the first time. Is that rolling loud? Where's when did that happen? <laughs> wow. That probably it had to be in New York, right? He, that's the only reason he would do this, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, he would. Constituent let's, services. Let's be honest. Right? <laughs> There's a camera. He'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> and this wasn't Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> I don't think. Um, what do we think? Four? Yeah. Three to me. I feel like it's work. three. Yeah, yeah because okay, it's three. like it was he. You know, I feel like what are you he knew. Expect? I feel like he knew he didn't have much sauce, so he kept it brief. That's yes. right. That's and, right. That's right. And I agree with that. and so it's a three. Next up, Hillary Clinton doing the Macarena oh, at the gosh. 1996 Democratic National this Convention. Is brutal. Yeah, this rules. <laughs> I love it. They're having so much fun. Please help. She never Make does it. it. Stop. She never does yeah. it. In the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary never actually did the Macarena. She she, she knew her place and she was like, I'm going to clap on the 
on every quarter note, and yeah. that is all I'm doing. That's right. She and did the right thing. Y'all not gonna make fun of me. She did the right thing. One, three. You know, One, twenty years three. later. But I, I will not, I will not critique the unadulterated joy I saw in that room as well. I agree. Yeah. I think that's right. What, yeah. what are we saying? They're having a good time. Yeah, they're having fun. They're not doing it for 2022. They were doing it back in 1996 when it was a cool dance. We were all, everyone was into it. <laughs> You act like you didn't make the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who are you yelling at yourself? He may not have picked the clips. He seems genuinely yeah. surprised listen, by the clips. Listen, in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, this is a finely oiled machine. It runs itself. I hand me the cards. I read the cards. Next up, Ed Markey's breakfast tweet. Oh, it's Ed Mark. Just for those listening at home, it's Ed Markey in front of a table that says Doritos. That has Doritos, Lay's, I believe a Snickers bar. Brought to you by Frito Lay. Milky yeah. Way and a Cheetos. So Ed Markey, not long for this world. <laughs> But I don't think it's that cringy. I think it's cool. It's like a little thirsty, but I don't think it's that cringy. It's funny because <laughs> he's like in pretty good shape and he's old. Yeah. Like, uh, and he has a great boss. If that's what he's eating, good, more power yeah, to him. Seriously. So right, God we, bless him. I wish I could eat all that. He's a Duncan fan. Yes. What is the Zero. opposite of cringe? It's the, yeah, it's the opposite of cringe. It's yeah. good. Yes. I support him. Show us no. something cringy, love it. What the hell? All right, fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Next up. Lin-Manuel Miranda giving a speech and the Hamilton cast performing Dear Theodosia to commemorate the January 6th insurrection. Oh. Oh. Lin-Manuel and his father. Boy. The description, the, the, the log line is not good. Uh, Hamilton <laughs> singers whom I hear from said that they were all very honored to be asked to participate today. I call your attention to... A new year brings hope for the future, new energy to face the tasks ahead of us, and a renewed promise to strengthen the foundations of our democracy. That's what I wrote about in the song, Dear Theodosia from Hamilton. I believe no challenge is worth abandoning our efforts to unite as Americans. We'll keep working generation after generation until we reach that someday. Yeah, you'll blow us all away someday. someday. I think this is good. <laughs> I like this. This is working on me. I'm cringe. Strike me down. I love this. Shame on the producers of this program. <laughs> this is good. I mean, these these talented I, people. I think it's great in isolation. <laughs> right. right. I don't think it was the right way to introduce January 6th hearings. <laughs> I feel like this is really a game about Nancy Pelosi doing uh, yeah. cringy things well, these, and some these, other people who ended up in here. I'm these, losing him. I'm losing him. Go to Hillary Clinton saying Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> go to Hillary Clinton doing the Pokemon go to the polls things. Hurry. Because we're going to have a lot of jobs. Jobs from building infrastructure to coding. Man. Creating new apps. apps. I don't know who created Pokemon Go. Nintendo. All right. All right. Talk about but it. I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. Ugh. Honestly, it's still great. <laughs> it's, it's a classic. Great. It's classic. a classic. It rules. You know what? We're still talking about it. Yeah, it's good. It's kind of like my pose on TikTok. It's like knowingly dad on TikTok. That's uh -huh. that's my thing. Yeah, yeah. Like I like I you know. know so I'm you too, know. I know I'm too old for this. Like on TikTok. And then I feel like Hillary knew she was being corny on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's up there, though. It is up there. I will say this is someone who uh, took great relish in writing very cheesy sentences for Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. including uh, George W. Bush and John McCain are two sides of the same coin. And it doesn't amount to a whole lot of change. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> all right, let's end. He genuinely likes that line because he talks about that all the it's time. It's good. That's so oh, brutal. It's good. Oh, all right. <laughs> Four out of five. I like me. it. I like that line. Thank you, John Legend. <laughs> Thank you, John Legend. Uh, next, last one, last one. Oh, 20, 2016. Where do you got? You got somewhere to be? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Bring Dan out here. Trump bad, Trump bad. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. We know what's going to happen. Next. All right. Final clip. Final clip. 2016 DNC's fight song. Ladies and gentlemen, my mother my hero, and our next president, Hillary Clinton. This is my song. Take back my life song. 
I think it was good. It was fine. There's no cringe. No, no cringe. cringe. No cringe. Zero we, cringe. No cringe. That's our game. <laughs> <laughs>